Greetings, Grapple fans. Mike Quackenbush here with your podcast to go go on Free Match Monday. King of Trios 2019 is just days away, and if you don't have your advance tickets, what the heck are you waiting for? Head to ChikaraPro.com right now and grab yours. Then, when you're done, check out this tasty treat as we flash back just one year to King of Trios 2018 when we saw Kikutaro and Los Ice Creams take on Miyu Yamashita, Yuka Sakazaki, and Shoko Nakajima of Tokyo Joshi Pro. Who is starting this one? Shoko Nakajima would seem for the Tokyo Joshi Freedom Fighters. Elio intoning that he hates you, genie pants. I've had a chance to chat with Yuka Sakazaki a few times already since they have arrived from Japan, and Yuka knows please and thank you and excuse me. I don't know if the sixth and seventh English words she's going to learn are genie pants, but she does seem to understand the sentiment. If not the exact vocabulary, Elio Del Ice Cream locking up Shoka Nakajima, the side headlock takeover to her much taller opponent. Woo! She is so quick. Low flying side headlock takeover. This, at least for the moment, has her trapped on the mat. Head scissor to El Ijo. Bray looking back. Bridge and a roll backwards. She's got a Boston crap. Tell you who else was terrific at that exact counter, the late, great Ken Joyce, who trained my dear friend Johnny Kidd, one of the true masters of the British world of sports style as we think of it. Very adept at that precise counter from a head scissor, and I can't think of the last time I've seen it. Throwing some shade, El Hijo Del Ice Cream here before a packed house in the Palmer Center for King of Trios 2018. Oh, took her out right behind the pit of the knee for a quick cover. Now it's at Iho's shoulders, only down for one. Completely missed with that drop kick. Shoko picking up speed. Up and around. Whoa, look at this. She landed on top. Oh, she almost had him. What terrific body control on the part of Nakajima. She went up, down, upside down, and came out with a terrific pinning combination. could be said of Yuka Sakazaki and Shoko Nakajima that they are happy-go-lucky in their disposition. But you do not describe Miyu Yamashita that way. She is all business between bells and between the ropes, as Kikitaro just found out. She just cracked him right in the thigh. Kikitaro's buffet club Lowe's ice creams do not want all you can eat of Miyu Yamashita. She's gonna eat you alive in there. Those kicks are vicious. <laughs> Once again, Kikataro trying to get a tag here out of his corner. Whatever Yamashita's serving in the middle of the ring, they don't want a spoonful. One more, Capitan, one more. Kiko, Kiko, Kiko. Those ice creams rallying support behind Kikotaro, their team captain. Momentarily distracting Miyu Yamashita. And when you are a 25-year veteran like Kikotaro, sometimes you can get away with those things against relative rookies. A four years experience, Yamashita. Boy, you wouldn't know from the way she kicks. Kikotaro signaling, I have had enough. No Miyu Yamashita does the damage, brings in Yuka Sakazaki. Oh, and Miss Genie Pants turned her back for just a second, and you can't do that when you're in there with Rudos as crafty as Los Ice Cream. They'll just outright break the rules whenever they can. Yuka Sakazaki goes up. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, crazy looking London Bridge like move. Los Ice Creams don't know which way is up. Both of them completely disoriented. Look at Yuka trying to bait them in. We're gonna do a double clothesline. We're gonna try and trick Los Ice Creams. I don't know if that's gonna work. 
One more time, up and around. Oh, she was able to get one of the ice creams. Oh, and barely able to get out of the way of the flying posterior of the Iho del ice cream. If he landed on her head like that, she'd be knocked out. One more time, side headlock applied. Yuka Sakazaki throws an uppercut. Looking for a second one, perhaps. No, Eliho ready. Caught with a backslide. Uh-uh. Look at Sakazaki go. She's got a counter for everything. I'm impressed with Yuka Sakazaki. She was able to stay ahead of both of Los Ice Cream, but with Kikataro in the mix, the numbers game. Mm -mm. The odds are just stacked against Sakazaki, who goes right through the legs of Kikataro and goes up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It took down both of Los Ice Creams, thanks to some extra elevation from Kikataro. Los Ice Cream screaming, what are you doing at Kikataro? Here come the... No, the, the Tokyo Joshi Pro Freedom Fighters. I think Los Ice Cream's and Kikataro slapped him on the back. From our vantage, of course, we know that is not the case. Major dissension in the ranks here of the New Republic. Kikataro and Los Ice Cream getting hot under the collar, and that is dangerous for Los Ice Creams. Is that how they're going to resolve their differences? Fisticuffs? Perhaps not. Oh! They just lulled them into a self false sense of security. Making them think they were going to brawl amongst themselves in order to once again steal the advantage from the Tokyo Joshi Pro Freedom Fighters. Los Ice Creams and Kikataro staying one step ahead. Getting ready to send Shoko Nakajima for the Galleon as it's known. High impact right into the turnbuckles. I pointed this out last night, and it seems to be true once again. Those ice creams were quick to capitalize following a successful move in the ring. In part, that is what helped them to victory over the Sisters of the Mighty. And that was a huge upset. It would be another upset here tonight, I think, if they got past the Freedom Fighters. Giant body slam on Nakajima from Kikataro. Diving elbow from Kikataro as he covers the shoulder blades. That's the mark of a veteran wrestler, fans. And if any wrestler in this tournament has a sense of what the Tokyo Joshi Pro Freedom Fighters are capable of, it is most certainly that man, Kikataro, one of the busiest freelancers in all of wrestling who frequently appears and works with DDT. Shoka Nakajima in a world of hurt as Kikataro continues to pour it on. And another tag in the corner of the New Republic as El Ijo del Ice Cream becomes legal once more. The New Republic enjoy a height, weight, and experience advantage. The sweet trifecta over the Tokyo Joshi Pro Freedom Fighters. It's going to be an uphill battle for the Joshis in this one. Two boots into the chest of Elio Del Ice Cream. Look at Nakajima go, Huracan Rana! Able to hold him down, but only for a count of two. Oh, slammed with authority by Elio. Double knees to the midsection, will it be enough? No! Oh, very, very close near fall, two and nine tenths, but it was not three. Chris Levin saying it was two. It was very, very close. Shoko Nakajima bearing the brunt of the offense from the New Republic. Second time going for the ride on that backbreaker. Third time going for the ride. And look how quick they are to capitalize. The New Republic wasting not even a second in their effort to eliminate the Tokyo Joshi Pro Freedom Fighters. 
Those Ice Creams finally finding their groove after 11 years as a tag team. Woo! High elevation galleon. Followed up with a boot right to the jaw. And something resembling a folding press. I mean, they were trying to win the match. It wasn't the best folding press I've ever seen, but they were trying to win the match. It's rare that I'm impressed with Los Ice Creams. Let, let that stand. Handful of tail as El Ijo halts the forward progress of Shoko Nakajima toward her corner. Up and down, belly to back suplex. Too near the ropes, I think. Nevertheless, Shoko Nakajima, being as short as she is, had to exert the energy to kick El Ijo off. That was the only way she was going to escape being pinned and held at bay for a cheap shot from Kikitaro. That's exactly what happened. Kikitaro taking a moment to gloat. Shoko Nakajima is so very, very quick. You cannot afford to give her a breather. Her speed proved to be a difference maker in last night's match against the Shimmer Collective. Very close to what would be called a quarter crab there, fans. The quarter crab was repopularized in Japan during the 1990s by Super Delphin, once of Michinoku Pro, later the founder of Osaka Pro, and that is where Kikitaro rose to fame as Ebasan. So he, seeing him use the quarter crab does not surprise me, given the origin, or at least the repopularization of that hold about 20 years ago. Shoka Nakajima showing off her speed one more time. Kikitaro brings it to a screeching halt. Shoko goes for the ride. She's in that turnbuckle one more time, able to get both boots up. She is outside, and really, I think the wisest move at that point would have been to drop to the floor. Trying to head all the way up to the high rent district. This may not have been the smartest of moves, but her drop kick did find the mark. And she's got a wide enough berth that she could make it into the corner and tag either Yuka Sakazaki or the champion of Tokyo Joshi Pro, Mio Yamashita. She will not get the chance, fans. That was a real error in judgment on the part of Nakajima. When she got to the outside of the ring, she should have dropped to the floor to trigger the tag. Waiting to tag the corner allows for that exact type of chicanery from Los Ice Creams as they yanked Yuka and Miu off the corner. There was no one left for her to tag them. That's the experience of the New Republic shining through. For what it's worth, they are displaying great teamwork. Los Ice Creams look to me like they are once again building the galleon. They threw her very high last time, taking her for the ride one more time. Well, look at this, Nakajima's landed on her feet. She is quick as a cat, or perhaps quick as a kaiju, reverse of direction. That was his own partner, Aliho just backdropped his brother. Shoko goes up, Shoko goes down. Luthez press, she's not waiting this time. She learned that lesson. And Yuka Sakazaki, quick as a hiccup to the top. Great looking version of La Silla. That you often erroneously hold here called the Luthez Press. And there's a Huracan Rana. Great sequence by Sakazaki setting up Miyu Yamashita. Working in perfect combination. The Freedom Fighters chop away at their much larger opponent. This offensive strategy should pay dividends for the Freedom Fighters. Oh, what a shot to the midsection. Sakazaki! Just walked the ropes like it was nothing! Iho turned inside out, and Yamashita with a German suplex! Kikitaro didn't have to expend a whole lot of energy to break up that bridge from Yamashita. Doing as little as possible to save his partner. That's actually smart wrestling. He's got to conserve his energy. This one goes the distance. Exchange of strikes back and forth. With a much thicker Kikotaro able to absorb certain blows. He wasn't able to absorb that kick. Or that one. Good grief. Yamashita like an axe chopping down a tree in the forest. Open-handed strikes knee to the midsection. 
Off to the rope she goes, and got caught with a great looking power slam. Shoulders exposed for two and... I thought Levin's hand was gonna hit for three, but he indicates two to our timekeeper. Backdrop driver from Kikataro. Yamashita could be done for, no! Nakajima makes the save! Elio is looking for the Cold Stone Stunner. Northern Lights suplex to Nakajima. That back bridge on point. New Republic using that same exact strategy. That bridge was basically diffused in the exact same manner as Kikataro did. Up and around, looking for a tornado. They've got her. Woo! From the top floor all the way to the basement, Nakajima crashes down to the mat. She's trying to get out of the ring. Los Ice Dreams will not allow it. They have a great opportunity to capitalize on the damage done. Cold Stone Stunner, and Nakajima's in position for El Asesino. Los Ice Dreams have got her. Oh, Yuka diving to the rescue. If not for Sakazaki, this one would be over. They've mowed Yuka down. One more time, the Galleon perhaps gonna send her all the way around into the waiting arms of... Oh my gosh! She's up! She's around! Mysterio Rana! She's got him home! One, two, three! Only two! Only two! How on earth did Yuka Sakazaki do that? There's just no stopping these freedom fighters, and Sakazaki, oh, 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 flung herself. It wasn't enough to get it done. But maybe with the assist, here comes Nakajima. Four of them are down, two are left. Mia Yamashita's all alone. Can the striker and the champion get it done against Kikataro? Oh, she clipped him right behind the shoulders from the ropes, flying in, that knee was right in the face! One, two, three! The Tokyo Joshi girls move on to night three!